Hey guys, this is Nathan. Welcome to Punter's Pre-Mortem. Back for another huge weekend of racing. Really enjoyed myself last weekend. Had a great dinner. Group one racing coming out of our butthole. Let's get straight into it. If you're not subscribed yet, get down in there, click on my button, close to 150. Really inadequate, need the ego boost. The triple X specialist weekend comes up at Caulfield race five over the 1800 meters. Number three, Young Verda. Toot toot, all aboard the hype train, getting on the big fellow on Saturday. It's not every week you put a guy on top who got beaten eight and a half lengths to start before. 1400 meters up to 1800 meters, gonna be perfect for him on Saturday. Have it down to a two horse race. Think he's better than Quay Quay though. First up, outclassed and too short of his best distance. Kamani's a good trainer, but Quay Quay, first up 1800 meters, surely some concern. Young were the coming here after that tough run, gonna be fitter. 1800 meters, big tick. He's not gonna be run off his leg at 1800 meters on Saturday. Damien Oliver can get him midfield. Just be straight up, he should have won a listed race in his second race start at the distance range. Ran out of time getting past Quay Quay. He's held up in the straight multiple times. On barrier eight, Damien Oliver can give this guy a perfect run midfield, pull him out into clear air, run past this lot. We're gonna find out on Saturday if he's the real deer or he's just a little cat. Meow, bitch! Meow! Meow! The cheeky, sneaky, each way better the weekend comes up at Rose Hill Gardens, race seven, over the 1400 meters in the Hobartville Stakes. Number four, Peltzer. Woo, far out. Sydney, big wet. It's been wetter than a girl's night watching Ryan Gosling films, which sets up perfectly for Peltzer. Absolute mudlark, mudder. Yeah, but it's a little slow out there. Rain last night. Oh, this baby loves the slop. Loves it, eats it up. Eats the slop, born the slop. His father was a mutter. His father was a mutter. His mother was a mutter. His... Thought the 1200 might have been a bit sharp for him first up, but he was ultra impressive in the wet, and he maps to get a perfect run just like the last time. Maps to get a perfect run just outside the leader this time, stepping up to 1400 meters, which I think is his best trip, not short a mile. Aegon could be a star, but he's probably likely to be winning the Randwick Guineas in a couple of weeks' time, 1600 meters. First go on a heavy track, gonna be way back last. Turn of foot, dulled a little bit on the wet track. Timmy Clark from Barrier 5 can get this beautiful So You Think Colt in the 1 1 position at the 200 meters, kick clear. They're not gonna get close to him. Get your wheelbarrow out, we're going to Coles. Forget the SPC beans this weekend, we're getting the Heinz bitches. The Group 1 GG this weekend comes up at Caulfield Race 6 over the 1400 meters in the Futurity Stakes. Number 1, Behemoth. I had my doubts about this guy as a group one star last preparation and he proved me wrong. Two time group one winner at 1400 meters on good tracks at Caulfield. Both at weight for age and handicap level, tick both boxes. He meets his toughest test to date, a genuine group one field with stars in it. But you put the ingredients into a bowl, that's what you get, behemoth 1400 meters Caulfield. He's the right profile horse, gonna get the map run as well. Want a little bit of extra cherry on top as well. Has beaten Acadia Queen at 1500 meters on a good surface. No excuses in the Golden Eagle when he beat her. Couldn't have been more impressive at Morfordville first up, smashing Kemmel Pass, a genuine group two horse. Flying, maybe improved from last spring. Streets of Avalon, Crosshaven with the blinkers going forward. He's gonna get a perfect run on the inside, fourth on the fence. On the corner, Damien Oliver can poke this big boy through the gap, run past this lot. Caulfield, good three surface, gonna be awfully hard to run down when he kicks clear. Behemoth translated equals something enormous. That's what you're gonna have on Saturday, an enormous bulge in your pants, bulging wallet. Big baggies on Saturday night. The Group 1 GG this weekend comes up at Caulfield Race 7 over the 1200 meters in the Blue Diamond Stakes. Number five, Animo. Oh, the drama, the drama! Last minute inclusion after passing two vet checks. There's no question she's the fastest horse in the race, but are you gonna take 250 about a horse coming off injury concerns? Up to 1,200 meters first time, more pressure in this race as well. 
I just can't have it. If you got in there early, got the price, good luck to you. I want to be with a horse though that's going to run every bit of 1200 meters and that's the five animo he was very unlucky not to win last start in the preview should have run past general bow blinkers going on for his grand final on saturday damien oliver had the pick him or ingratiating went animo's way the problem obviously is the barrier barrier 15 gonna get at least midfield back but at nine dollars and 250 a place i'd rather be with him each way his three runs all have been on the inside of horses, never looked real comfortable. Once he got clear gallop in room, finishing off nice on the outside. Going to get that sort of run on Saturday. Hopefully they go breakneck leaders, cut each other up, chop up the fave. Hopefully at 4.15 on Saturday, you hear Damien Oliver screaming at his horse, flying down the outside. Large noises. Hopefully a preview to the night. Chinese dinner first, back home, doing your best Damien Oliver impersonation. Ah! The rockin' Rangy Rangdu is joining in on the outside. Is it his day to day? It's Road to Rock and Rangy Rangdu fighting it out. Rangy Rangdu on the outside is in front and Rangy Rangdu gets his group one. 